everybody, it's Julie Hassett again, and today I'm here with my friend Jacqueline Friedlander, Hello. who has a an weekly educational YouTube video series called Friends with Fins, and also two illustrated children's books, and she's actually given me the perfect excuse to do a camouflage body paint on her, because we are going to be talking about, dun, 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 what exactly? Camouflage and mimicry, because we're going to do a decorator crab and a frogfish, so we're going to talk about how they blend into the environment. Yeah, and I think that's really, really cool, and it also gives me an excuse to blend her hands into her body. So today's just going to be like a little demonstration on how to do that because it can get really complicated, but it can also be quite simple if you break it down the way we're going to be doing it. And I'm not really going to do tutorial style. It's mostly going to be um, a time lapse, but maybe here and there we'll give you a little, little taste of what's happening. So let's go do it. So we are finished with the camouflage with my friend Jacqueline here and as you can see it kind of just looks like a lot of um, dots and that's because it mostly is. <laughs> so basically how I did this was I laid a base first by just doing uh, laying down background color um, just kind of literally blobs with either a sponge or a fluffy brush and just to kind of find the form of how this coral was going to um, lay on her skin. And as you can see, I spread it across her face and around her neck as well. And then when we were deciding what kind of fish we were going to, well, fish and crab really, um, to <laughs> use, we were talking about, you know, animals that camouflage themselves into their surroundings. And so the first one we picked was, this decorator crab and he belongs right over here and the way that I did this was I held it up to her chest once the background was on there I drew out the outline and then went back in with the details so that she didn't have to hold her hand up like this so I would you know brought her hand down so she wasn't exhausted because it can be tiring for a model like this after a while um, and then once I put her hand back up if there were any little bits that didn't quite match up um, I went in and fixed those, but also I had to look at the camera from where the camera's perspective was to be able to see, does this actually line up? Because if you're next to it, I don't even know if this is lined up properly right now, but if you're next to it, it's really hard to see if it lines up. If you're right in front of it, same thing, but once you stand back at the camera, it looks completely different. So when she looks at this up close in her hand, it looks like something abstract and nothing and really weird, <laughs> but from the camera's perspective, it actually looks like something, hopefully. Um, now the other it thing, <laughs> the other thing is we've got our, what was this fish called again? Frogfish. This is the frogfish. So frogfish also camouflages itself and Jacqueline can tell you a lot more about that on her YouTube channel because she knows way more than I do. And um, it's facing outward. So it's not really a fish to the side. It's a fish facing you. So it looks super abstract um, from far away. Hopefully it looks like a fish to you. I'm not really sure. Regardless, it's camouflage. So who really cares? But <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. This is supposed to be blending in with the yellow um, coral in the background. So I did the same type of thing. I outlined it with the yellow first, took the hand down, did the details, put it back up, and then did any background colors, and then, you know, blended with the arm to make sure that it lined up okay. Um, and, you know, 
picture-wise, if you're taking photos, um, we, we took pictures in a couple different ways to capture all of this layout. So if you're having a photo shoot, keep in mind that there are so many different options um, that you can, that you have, um, that you can play around with with photographs and it doesn't have to be exactly just one way. Thank you so much, Jacqueline, for being you're a welcome. patient model because this <laughs> took a few hours today. It was fun, it's gorgeous, I love it. Thank you, you're very patient. <laughs> she hasn't even seen what she looks like yet. Let's look in this. You see yourself? Oh, that's amazing. Here, put your thing up to your face. Frogfish facing <laughs> yeah. out. Ah, that's fantastic. There you go. It looks right. so Let's different. Let's take one. Ready? Than, yeah. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Love it. Thank so you. So if you want to check out Jacqueline's channel, I'm going to put a link below in the description box. And um, thank you again. I really appreciate it. It was yeah, really fun. And subscribe fun. if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more tutorials and time lapses. Thank you. Bye.